Hi, it's Rob from the Bob Sphere, and today's a thematic video. We're going to focus on Indian authors. So, the authors don't necessarily have to live in India. They can be from Indians in other countries. Okay. Now, I also admit that I got into Indian authors through book prizes. So, my favorite Indian author books are prize related. So you may know quite a few of them. So let's start. Okay, well, the most famous is Salman Rushdie. I've read nearly all his books. I only have Shalimar the, Cl the Clown left. This is one of my favorites, though. It's his most recent Kishot, and it's a retelling of the Don Quixote myth. It's really good, and uh, it's good for a beginner as well, rather than uh, starting with Midnight's Children. And you've got Jampa Lahiri, who's written two sets of short stories and two novels. Everything's good. Worth checking out. It's my favorite of her short stories. Very clever. Now, Camila Shamsi, who won the Woman's Prize, this novel, it's Home Fire, and it's a retelling of the Antigone myth. It's but put in modern day with gang warfare and uh, racism. Excellent. It's a gripping read. Now, my personal favorite, I like these, obviously. It's a hint in mystery. He can do no wrong. I like everything he's written. He hasn't written, published a book since this one. So it's been, I think, over 15, 16 years. This was 2003. Family Matters. It's about a family, and the grandfather is dying, and it affects each member in different ways. It's a very tender look at old age and dying. Not the happiest of topics, but the writing is so beautiful. And please, when are you going to publish another book? I'm really waiting now. Okay. Nell Mukherjee, The Lives of Others. You can call this an Indian epic. It's quite kinky in places too, but I won't say how. No, oh, it's, 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 uh, it's about uh, an Indian family and uh, the business goes belly up and it affects and it focuses on each member and their reactions. It's really good. It's gripping as well. Yeah. Now the one I wish would win this year's Booker Prize. Please, 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 please. This is Burnt Sugar by Avni Doshi. Because last time I pronounced her name wrong and everyone out there corrected me. So it's Burnt Sugar. It's kind of like familiar matters in a way. Family matters in a way. So, it's about a woman whose mother is suffering from Alzheimer's, and this woman suffered a lot in her youth. So she kind of sees it as a divine revenge. And then go, we go into a relationship, and a relationship with others. It's a, it's a very introspective book. Please win. So as a winner, The White Tiger. This book criticizes modern capitalist society in a very savage way. And it's funny as well. Really funny. This one needs no introduction. I've spoken about it quite a few times. God of Small Things. There's also her, I wouldn't say sequel, the only other novel she published, Ministry of Utmost Happiness. You really have to know your Indian history to appreciate that book. So I'm not going to say it's bad or good. I bet you if I read in 10 more t 10 years time, my knowledge of Indian history would be better and I'd understand more bits. Let's see. It's Family Life. Oh, this one will break your heart by Akhil Sharma. Oh, it's about a, a disabled boy. Oh. And then the, how his elder brother reacts to it. That's all I'll say. Now, the thickest book in the English language, a Suitable Boy. There's supposed to be a sequel to this called A Suitable Girl, but that's being prolonged. It's epic. Had a, I mean, this is widescreen, panoramic, oh, everything. It's, it's difficult to summarize this book. Superficially, it's about a family who decide to find a suitable boy for their daughter. But I'm only giving you that much. It's got everything.
this Arana del Roy, sleeping on Jupiter. This is about five women who visit India, and the visit affects them in different ways. This was, I think, even shortlisted. I know it was definitely part of the Booker a few years ago. I really enjoyed it. It's a bit dour. This one is out of print, but I do suggest you seek it because it's absolutely amazing. It's called The Great Indian Novel, and it's like an Indian history done in a very surreal way. And it's funny, it's rude, it's, oh, it's mind-boggling. I read it quite a few years ago, well, over 10 years ago, and uh, oh, it still s sticks with me today. Again, you sort of have to know your Indian history, but he makes it a bit easy for you. It's great. And it's by yeah, Shashi Taror, Taror, if I'm pronouncing the name properly. Now, there are some glaring omissions. I left out Anita Desai, for starters, and her daughter, Kiran, who won the Booker. Uh, I'm sure, there are others. Well, anyway, can you suggest some? Because I would really like to read more. Oh, wait, before I forget, I actually have two on my TBR. Sorry, slight degradation. I can't really edit. So we've got We That Are Young by Pretty Tanya. Tanaja, if I'm pronouncing it correctly. This is like an Indian retelling of King Lear. And in Other Rooms, Other Wonders, this has been on my TBR since 2010 by Danielle Muenudin, if I am pronouncing it correctly. These are going to be on the TBR file. Anyway, do you like Indian authors? Have you read any of these books? Can you recommend some more? Because I would really appreciate that. Bye, and see you next time.